We ran to the gate and of course the plane was gone. We've spent a long time doing this and it's all my fault for not paying attention, but hopefully this is gonna be okay because the hurricane is getting closer and the bands are starting to go across the state. Hopefully this plane is still taking off and it's gonna land okay. We will get you to uh, Shreveport as safely as we can tonight. Today we're at Starbucks in Texarkana. We got here last night in Shreveport and had to wait a good 45 minutes to get our bag because it came on the flight that we missed. And so we had to wait for somebody to come give us our bag because apparently they had to turn around a plane so we could leave. Anyways, we spent last night in a hotel and this morning we are heading over to Ariel and Lone Star to meet the guys who are in charge of building the trucks that we are getting for Portland and also the people who are financing them. So that's what we're going to be doing today and come along. We're at Lone Star Truck Group now. They're showing me around the facility and they have this truck here. It's a 2021 Freightliner Cascadia and if you can see behind me, there's a green screen. This whole thing is set up on a green screen. It's pretty cool. So we're gonna kind of test it out and see what we can do with it. Oh, do you want me to take a picture for Instagram? Is that what you're doing? No, it's a video. Oh, can you take a picture for Instagram though? Go ahead. Welcome back to another video guys. Today I really want to show you how REL and Lone Star is helping people start their own trucking companies. So come along. Try it again. Should I not do come along? Yeah, you don't need to say that. Okay. Go ahead. Hi guys, welcome to another video. Do you hear that noise behind me? I'm in a shop in Texarkana, Texas at Lone Star Truck Group and I just wanted to make this video and give- Hey guys, I'm here in a shop in Lone Star at Welcome to another video. Today I'm in a shop at Lone Star Truck Group in Texarkana, Texas. I'm gonna make a video while I'm here about um, starting your own trucking company and kind of like the ins and outs of what REL does and Lone Star does to help people getting into starting their own trucking business and so I'm gonna put that in a separate video but this is just to let you guys know like how the day is going and what's going on and how cool this truck is but there is still a hurricane outside it hasn't gotten here yet so that's still to be seen if we will see anything from it this is Sarah she does embroidery for the graphics department Hi. putting a shirt on. Is that so the sides on all of our company shirts? Very cool. Can you watch it? And right here up on my computer it shows exactly where it's selling that. Let me show you the hats over here. I just showed all six of these at one time. Yeah. Because you can sell one at a time and like turn all these off. Or you can sell all six. I already have a program for the colors that we're gonna sew for the design. And then these other two, all I have to do is turn off the heads. This is called a head. It controls all your needles and thread. It kind of sounds like I'm trying to yeah. break something because it's really loud. And then here it goes. The 
This is Kristen. She's our in-house designer. Hello. Designer. Nice, nice to meet you. you. I've heard so much. Okay. <laughs> I like cooks. So let me show you one of the coolers we've actually done recently. Uh, it's one of our tag coolers. So we uh, we ship these uh, quite often to customers. A lot of times, whenever a, uh, someone buys a truck, we will do a cooler, like photos of their truck on there, their logo, you know, and just really jazz it up and uh, and send that off to them as a thank you. So, um, as far as the canvases do, we do the same thing with those. So, um, it's always a good, really good gift. And this is Jalen. He does our wraps. Hello. How you doing? I'm Jalen. Nice to meet you. Well, nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> what you working on? I'm uh, working on some uh, fenders for an M2 oh. truck that we're doing, the color swap. What's the, is that like a little heat gun? <laughs> oh, this is a lot of heat gun. <laughs> <laughs> Not a little one. <laughs> you got to be easy with it when you're heating, but it, it relaxes it like we're, it, it'll get like in a wrinkle. Yeah. You can take this. And oh, wow. Just kind of relaxes it and lets you build a... Aren't you afraid you're going to burn your fingers? I've done it enough. That <laughs> this tells me how close I can get to the vinyl. If I touch the vinyl first, I can, you can blow a hole right through it. So it's just with my hand there, I'll start. If you'll notice, I don't start up here. I start out here and then I... Oh my god. Oh, look at this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. <laughs> that's so cute. I like this one. They made Dakota a little, what is it, a bandana. I was like, handkerchief band. <laughs> they made Dakota a little bandana. Look at how cute. Oh, I love it so much. I am so excited. She's gonna wear it. Okay. How do I look in my hat? I got my hands full. Oh. It's good to meet you. Great. Thank you. Do it again sometime. Same. Oh my gosh, there's a bug on the ground right there. It's a stink bug. Bye. Bye. Be careful. Okay. Let's go get on the plane on time. We were having trouble getting everything done at like in enough time in order to get on the plane in time. So I ended up calling and changing the flight. It cost me like 200 bucks, but it was worth it for the peace of mind to know that like the there was actually going to be a video made and I really wanted to document the process and and make sure that we had like given it a good shot and so went ahead and changed the flight to the next day so that's where we are now and we're going to get onto the plane at the same exact time just a day later and hopefully we won't miss any of these flights. Ten minutes before boarding time this time, thank goodness. Um, we're gonna make it on time for this flight and we'll be getting home um, when this plane lands and I think we'll take an Uber 
and then we'll get to see Dakota, so that's super exciting. I bet she is going to just lose her mind, but anyways, I'm, I've had like a really fun trip, but I am still so excited to go home.